Imagine being born into a vegan household, as if life wasn't hard enough. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Hannah McNeely with her video, What My Vegan Baby Ate Today. There is no such thing as a vegan baby. Let's have a look. Vegan for good. Sure. Look it, man. Hello again and welcome Hi. to my channel. My name is Hannah McNeely and before we dive into the video, just want to let you know if you clicked on this video the day it was launched, that means you are in launch week of Vegan for Good, my Yay. channel course about how to go vegan and stay vegan. And if you enroll- Do you guys need motivation to eat a steak? Me neither. The Vegan for Good digital course is for people who really want to go vegan. Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they've gone vegan in the past and then they stopped. Why would you be struggling if veganism was your species specific diet? And they need a little bit of a holding hand, you wouldn't. some practical tips and some heart tips. How to do it, not why to do it, because I think you're probably already convinced. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> Translation, you already fell for the vegan propaganda. You've been brainwashed. Now you believe it is wrong to eat animals. Yeah. Your body is rebelling. Now you need Hannah here with her e-course to tell you that your body is wrong. We're talking about what my vegan baby <laughs> ate today. My wow. baby is 13 months old. Am I still allowed to call him a baby if he is walking <sighs> and he's over one? I am a father myself. My son is eight months old and there is no such thing as a vegan baby. Babies ideally breastfeed, which means they're consuming animal foods, which means they're consuming all the bad cholesterol, bad protein, and of course the bad saturated fats. No such thing as a vegan baby. I am vegan and whole foods plant-based myself and my baby eats what I eat and my wow. baby doesn't eat processed food because I don't eat processed food. I think a lot of times we want our children to eat healthy foods, but when we ourselves are eating things from packages and things that with long ingredient lists, then it's probably going to be a big influence on our kids. Yes, that is true. How many ingredients does meat have? Mm very beginning and now I'm just sort of following my intuition and I find it's quite simple. You're not following your intuition, otherwise you would feed your baby animal foods. It is intuitive for humans to eat animals. He is over one, he simple. is eating quite a lot of solid foods now, but he's still breastfeeding and we love I rest my case. And this is why I say there is no such thing as a vegan baby. Do you understand this? I know that your mother's milk is cruelty free, but it doesn't change the fact that your baby is consuming animal nutrients which keep him alive. Do you get this? If you would feed the baby only vegetables, it would die. And it's time for amazing nutrition. Amazing nutrition. Define it. What is amazing about plants? Tell me. For nap time and bedtime, and we nurse when he wakes up from nap and in the morning, and he nurses in the night a couple times, and he asks for milk throughout the day. So we're really nursing a lot still, and it's a primary source of his calories and nutrition. Uh, it is not only his primary source for nutrition, it is his only source for nutrition. Plants don't have cholesterol. Plants don't have vitamin A, vitamin D3, creatine, etc. They lack a bunch of amino acids, nutrients, hormones, and of course, they come in a package with anti-nutrients, which are detrimental to the health of this young child. You've been brainwashed by social media, and now you're malnourishing your child. This child will grow up to resent you because you're destroying his life. You're destroying destroying his future. Now he has the milk. In the milk you find fat soluble vitamins. Those fat soluble vitamins can be stored in the fatty tissue of the child. Growing up he will still have some reserves but they will be used up soon and this is when the child runs into deficiencies. You will see he will be lighter than other kids, smaller than other kids, weaker than other kids and maybe god forbid have a learning disability on top of it. Do you really want to do this to your child? In addition to that, he's eating quite a lot of solid foods and loving it. <laughs> he's really, really 
really loving foods. He's been like packing on the pounds actually. For us, we're really enjoying breastfeeding and we're gonna do it for a couple years, so um, there's no need to rush it. Even though it is repetitive, I can't stress this point enough. She's gonna continue to breastfeed the child, not understanding that it isn't getting any nutrition from her vegan diet. When the kid is one year old and you introduced meats, organs, eggs, dairy, it wouldn't need any breast milk at that stage any longer. That is a natural progression. Of course, she already understands that the baby won't be able to extract any meaningful nutrition out of carrots, and this is why she's gonna continue to breastfeed the child. But at some point, she's gonna run out of milk, and what is the kid supposed to do then? This is when the starvation starts. And I'm also not forced him to eat something he's not interested in. You don't give him the chance to see what he is interested in. Put a piece of meat on the table, see how he reacts. A few times of trying we'll be something shocked. before we can love it and enjoy it on our own without being forced to eat something. For a long time he was not into beans and he was not into broccoli, but now wow. those are some of his favorite foods. Sure. And all it took was some like offering it to him several times. All right, let's fast forward and see what the baby actually eats. Breakfast, normally my baby and I share. Um, we share fresh fruit or oatmeal or a smoothie. He has learned how to drink from a straw and it's been a game changer. Today we're having fresh fruit. We're having grapefruit and oranges. And I grapefruit is supremely acidic. There is no point in feeding that to a child. Feed him as we're cutting it up. Sometimes we get in the high chair, sometimes we don't. And I am making the oatmeal here. I always add chia seeds. Oats are very hard on the digestion. This is why traditionally, for example, in Ireland, they've been fermenting oats to break down the sugars and make them readily available. To simply cook oats and feed them to a child is a burden for their digestion. Oatmeal, I think it's just a great way to get chia seeds in. I think they soak up the water really well. Why would you feed chia seeds to children? Actually, scratch that. Why would you eat chia seeds in the first place? The ALA that is supposedly found in chia seeds cannot be absorbed. Go to the toilet and check it yourself. I think they soak up the water really well and make it a really nice texture. And this oatmeal is sweetened with dates and I have More banana sugar. on top. And he's been learning how to use a spoon and it's been extremely messy, but really good for him to um, be empowered that way and to get some practice. Mm. So I don't have to spoon feed him forever. <laughs> so it's uh, it's definitely a lot of- This is bird food. It is just sugar and insoluble fiber. Why would you feed that to your child? Think about it. You have no answer. Work and requires a lot of patience, but it is worth it in the end. And this was his breakfast, fresh fruit and oatmeal sweetened wow. with dates and banana. Terrible. The child obviously doesn't need fiber to grow. The child obviously doesn't need excessive amounts of sugar to grow either. What the child needs is saturated fats and proteins that build his body, build his immune system. All of that you can find in your mother's milk, but not in your plants. Oh man. Honestly, now being a father myself, this really hurts watching. Poor little kid. Imagine being born into a vegan household, as if life wasn't hard enough. After his nap and after having some breast milk as he woke up, he wanted a snack, so I put him in the high chair and we had some persimmons. I really like to peel the skin off, I find it it's a lot easier for him to oh, eat. He's only veganism is such a mental illness, man. Honestly, look at this. She's into whole foods. This is why she feeds him so much fruit. Obviously, because everything else tastes disgusting. Fruit has a bunch of sugar. This is why the kid likes it. However, all of those fruits have been manufactured and have been bred into what you see nowadays, which is sugar bombs. Their wild equivalent doesn't have a third of the sugar that is contained in the modern day fruits. You don't know that, but you still give nutritional advice. We got 17 They so all far. do. do. I really love prepping dinner far in advance. I don't like, you know, four or five o'clock rolling around. And Why would so you give onions and garlic to a child? 
I like to make dinner early. Why? I find it's really helpful when you have a little kid, um, you know, and which ginger. you know is a real thing. So around five o'clock, oh. kids tend to need a little bit more attention and think they're getting a little stir crazy there. So here I am prepping dinner earlier in the day and I'm making one of my favorite recipes from the digital course. With the digital course, there is a ebook called Staples with some really oh. simple, basic, but delicious, easy to make, vegan recipes that for me have become staples and they could become staples for you they're easy to memorize why would they and so nourishing this is the what is nourishing about it you really have no idea what you're talking about you're completely delusional this is the life of a child at stake here if you would choose to eat rice and pumpkin all day long i couldn't care less do it you're grown up have fun but to malnourish a child is criminal cauliflower potato curry and my baby loves lots of flavor i was always told babies like simple things but i don't know man my baby really loves like indian food <laughs> which is very flavorful so it's fun to share that with him again try giving your child unsalted unseasoned meat see how he reacts with dinner i normally share what we are eating alongside some food for him so i'm not just spoon feeding the, him the whole Man, time why? during the meal so he's having a whole avocado here that i've peeled and all of this is being eaten in third world countries by poor people they still add some animal foods to it to survive they have no other choice you do a crinkle cutter it just makes it easier for him to grip with his little hands as well as some steamed oh, vegetables man. that i like to prep vegans have no idea what they're doing they're completely oblivious they have absolutely no understanding of nutrition you're just feeding him spices cauliflower onions garlic look into all of those so-called foods and see what kind of nutrition nutrition you will find in them the answer is none wow yeah let's eat a plant a little tree wow man yeah, what do you think? i like that she doesn't show yeah. the child at least some of them smashers 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 yeah dude like how about now? you oh feed your God, kid right some animal foods <laughs> <laughs> So sad. Now, of course, the guy looks super malnourished as well. Oh man, they don't get it. Vegan bodybuilders. I also give him water during the day. Sometimes I'm just sharing from my cup. Sometimes sure. I throw it in his own sippy cup. I got this really nice sippy cup from. Oh. Um, it was a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it because it's very durable a bunch and high of quality. I can tell it's going to last us a long time. Metal. And he loves That's what it. You and see there. yes, it does leak, but I find that all sippy cups leak, so <laughs> it's just a big mess all the time. Man. You will and regret that's it this. for what my baby you ate today. All right, guys, and this is it for today. I had enough. Yet again, it gets more and more frustrating watching those so-called vegan parents feeding their, again, so-called vegan babies. It is an absolute mess. It is absolutely repulsive to see how they destroy their children's life. Especially me, now as a dad, seeing my son grow up and seeing how he reacts to real nourishing animal foods it is an absolute shame that this kid cannot taste them that this kid is being denied proper nutrition but in this day and age who cares as long as you give the baby his shots his little jabbies stabbies everything is fine he's eating a whole food plant-based diet all right guys but this is it if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and as always, may God bless you all, much love and peace.